Don't make these mistakes when you are attending your data analyst interviews. I have had the fortune of attending over 40 interviews during the course of my life so far and at one point or other I have made all of these mistakes. So I thought I'll share them with you so that you can be successful in your data analyst interviews. Let's take a look at them. The first and most important mistake that I see people make and I have made this many times is giving impulsive answers. When an interviewer asks you a question, normally our tendency is to just give out an answer that is on the top of our mind. But this is where I think having a little bit of structure in your answers will be more helpful. So instead of giving an impulsive answer, use a technique called STAR methodology. STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, Result. So anytime the interviewer asks you a question, use these four items to give a proper answer. Let me show that as a demo. Okay, Mr. Chandu. It says here that you have helped the organization reduce their gender pay gap. Can you tell me more about how you did this? Thank you, Mr. Interviewer. The chief HR officer of the organization has mandated that we should bring down our gender pay gap in the next six months. Mm -hmm. So I suggested that we should build a monthly gender pay gap tracker and a dashboard using Power BI. Interesting. So then I went on and created such a dashboard using Power BI by synthesizing the data from various HR systems and the recruitment systems. And I finally created this particular dashboard which helped our gender pay gap come down by 5%. Oh wow, that is fantastic. The second mistake that we all make is not doing enough research. When you apply for a job, most of the time the research that we do is just go to the website of the company and read up a little bit about it. But instead, do the research using the triangle technique. The triangle technique goes like this. You want to find out people who are currently working in the organization. And then you want to find out people who have left the organization. And also you want to find out people who have successfully attended the interviews, but either did not get through or did not take up the offer. So talk to these three kinds of people using your social network or your friend circle or whatever may be the case. The triangle technique was somewhat tricky to implement back when there is no social networking and things like that. I remember during my college days when I would attend campus placement interviews, most of the time it was like a black box. No one would know exactly what goes on in those things. But nowadays we have the advantage of various social networks, LinkedIn, etc. So capitalize on that, reach out to people, pick up the phone, give them a call, talk to them, do whatever it takes, but figure out what it is like working there, what it is like to go through the interview process and be prepared do all your research so that in the interview you appear confident and comfortable in the environment. My wife Jo recently attended an interview for a data analyst position and she has successfully got the job. So I asked her, hey, I'm doing this mistakes that people make during the data analyst interviews. What is your number one suggestion? And this is what she had to say. So what is the one mistake that people make in interviews? Once I didn't get selected after the interview, uh, when I asked them about the feedback, they said I should have not used the same example multiple times. Uh -huh. So that is our third mistake, using the same example. Before the interview, list down your top five or six examples that you will use throughout the interview and then go through them one after another and that will be very helpful. Many times the questions that interviewers ask, if you are not anticipating them, then you will end up reaching out to your top example all the time. So instead, if you write down these examples on a paper, then you will know what to say when the interviewer asks you questions along those lines. Also, remember to use the STAR methodology when giving the answer from these examples. The fourth mistake that we make is all talk and no show. As my mom used to say, did you finish your homework? Yeah, mom, I finished it. Show me. You can't fool your mom, neither can you fool the recruiter. So carry some proofs of the achievements that you have listed on your CV to the interview. One of the things that you could do in the interview is take your phone or laptop or tablet 
or maybe some printouts with the previous examples of what you have done and show them when you are giving the answers. For example, here for this particular video, I have prepared some of the dashboards that I have prepared so that you can see them. So during the interview, I would say I made this and this dashboard and I can actually refer to that so that the interviewer can get an idea of what I am showing and understand that yes, I am capable and I can actually take the conversation further by referring to these things and then say that, you know, when we are preparing this, we had these challenges. This is how the data came up. This is what I did for analyzing it. And these are the choices I made for making the visuals or outputs. Mm, I can only use SQL Server. I'm not familiar with Oracle. Tableau is the worst. Why are you not using Power BI? I don't want to work in Chennai. Do you have any openings in Hyderabad? That is the fifth mistake that you can make. Being too hard and too set in your ways. When interviewers are looking for candidates, they value flexibility very highly. So express that you are flexible and you are open for challenges, locations and opportunities. Don't be really rigid and say that I will only work in this type of environment. I will only work with these teammates or I will only work here or in this platform. Instead, show that you are willing, you are open and that will score higher points in your interview. The sixth mistake that we all make is focusing too much on money. Of course, we are all working and attending this interview because we would like to earn money. But money should be the byproduct when you are looking at an interview or working in a place. You should focus more on what is it that I as an individual can learn and grow when I'm working here. That is the primary focus. Money will come. Of course, you know, money is important, but don't prioritize money over the other things that are more valuable to you as an individual. So express that in the interview. When the topic is on the money, like negotiating your salary or figuring out how to compensate you, of course, you should bring up money and you should talk, but you should be a little flexible. If the opportunity is good, then you should be willing to compromise a little bit and do the work anyway. And that will give you more mileage because you will learn a lot of interesting and valuable things. You might end up working with some really amazing colleagues who will transform your life. So don't hesitate and don't focus too much on money in the interviews. And the last mistake that we all make in the interviews is being too hard on ourselves. On average, an interviewer interviews at least three people for a single position. In many cases, they might end up interviewing as many as 10 people for one position. That means on average, you have a chance of succeeding only 33% of time or maybe 10% or 5% of the time. So the failure rate is way higher than the success rate in the interview. So when we take the interview to the heart and when we feel too bad about ourselves and our performance, that will have negative impact on us and it will have downstream negative impact as well. We might actually carry that negativity when we do next task or next interview in our life. So instead, take everything in the stride. Look at the positive sides. You are attending the interview. You are gaining some valuable insight into how the interview process works, what is working, what is not working, what examples are clicking with your audience, and then use all of that to fine tune your thing. And if you don't get an opportunity out of the interview, don't get the call back, don't feel too bad. You know, it's not all right because for every three people attending the interview, only one person gets the call, the other two will fail. So take it in, in that sense and don't feel too bad. Look positively and you will be all right. So now that we have talked about all the mistakes that you can do in the interview, what is it that you should be doing? Well, you should be doing any number of other things that are not these mistakes. But here is one tip that I can give you to transform the way you look at the interviews. Instead of you thinking as they are interviewing me, flip it around. Think about it like this. I am interviewing them to see if I can work in the organization. Okay. This doesn't mean being overconfident and, you know, feeling like you have the top hand or anything. It is the other way around. You want to be enthusiastic about the company. You want to know whether that company is a good place for you to invest your time, money and effort uh, as an individual. Right. So you want to interview them. You want to understand. So what is it like working in this team? What are the things that you are using? You know, you want to make it more conversational. And this is a very, very valuable technique. 
this way what happens is the interviews will not be more like a question and answer they will be feel more like a conversation you're talking to a friend understanding what they're doing and whether you can contribute anything there or not and it will also kind of balance the interview you will not feel intimidated or you will not feel overwhelmed by the interview process i hope this has been very helpful to you i wish you all the very best for your interviews my friend and do let me know in the comments you know if you face any struggles or if you resonate with any of these mistakes that i highlighted because i thought you know these are the mistakes that i made all in my life and even today if i attend an interview chances are i might make one or two of these mistakes so i thought i'll share them out there with you so that you can kind of see how that will help you and even if it is helpful let me know in the comments and if it is not helping you know you find something else also let me know in the comments thank you so much all the very best and i'll see you out there in another video bye bye